Uh, so Liz is from South Africa. She's been in Hanoi for two years. She's working now as an English teacher and an artist, again, running the Hanoi Life Drawing Society. Liz, I'm going to give this all over to you. If you just click on the screen, then it'll advance over to the next slide, okay? All right, awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That's cool. um, hi, everyone. I, I'm Liz. Hi, okay, I'm kissing it. Can, can we hear? Yeah. All right, okay, just give me a shout if you can't hear. Um, I'm going to be talking you through uh, my process of how I've come to the artwork and the projects that I'm working on now through the, the waves of it. All right, so it's called Lurking Clusters. I'm going to kind of go back a little bit in time where, oh, there we go, Lurking Clusters. Um, so all the photographs and drawings in this, they are, they've all been done by me and et cetera. Um, uh, yeah, these are photographs of holes and dots in things that I've found around um, organic things, man-made things, objects and things. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, should I go back one? All right, that is the one on the right is a drying rail, drying... Tr Plastic rack for drying dishes. The shower, 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 shower. Um, rock, um, that is a drain. That is an art installation in Bangkok city center of a whole lot of pipes. There was waterfall falling all over that. And that is a lotus flower. Um, another drain, more drains, ashtrays, um, bee things, drains, lotus flowers. I think this kind of excited me because I figured out that a lot of my friends have trypophobia. Um, so I started doing a bunch of drawings from these. These are all hand-drawn with ink, um, pretty detailed, small, intense things that wasn't quite sure where I was going with them, but I was just doing them. Um, some more of these. Um, I kind of liked that they looked like organic kind of entities that kind of overlapped and crossed. I see the colors not quite, but you can get an idea. It's gold and black colors all over. Um, how they overlapped and interacted with each other and created these strange kind of shapes. I call them organic disruptions. Um, there's a zoomed in piece of some of them. And these are just ink pens, mm -hmm, different sizes and gold, gold leaf pens. Um, I'd experiment with a bit more of other things, simplifying it a little more, I think. These are just photographs, not beautiful scans or anything, but here they are. And a little bit of zoomed in pieces of the organic entities. Uh, some paintings, these are all about one meter uh, in width at least. And these are all acrylic on canvas kind of see that flowing through into that. Sophie's Palace is a, I used to live in Sophie's Palace a house here. Oh, you're ringing. Uh, just turn it off. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is another painting, it's called Jellyfish Garden. Right, so for the Hanoi Life Drawing Society, we had put on an exhibition called with the theme of repeat, and I wanted to make posters and ha flyers that I could give out to people. So I took a look at my fridge, and I have this pretty cool magnet. I think it's kind of cool. That changes shape and forms. So I photographed this and popped it onto the computer. Well, it's a little bit blurry, but you can kind of get the idea of that. And just go back one, see the process from there and um, yeah I thought these were pretty cool and I started to repeat them cool you can see a brief process there and um, I had made these little flyers to give out to people and um, in the theme of repeat fridge magnet philosophies repeat love so that's it um, was those and from there I started making more and more um, you might see them on your tables over there just I'm gonna flow through a few of these different designs there over 30 different designs one for I guess each day of the month spread love repeat love every day Sorry, yeah, no, cool.
Yeah, so you'll see there's quite a, a few prints all over the tables. These are for you. Please take one um, with love. Yeah, if you don't have one, um, come ask me. I have a few in my bag to give to you. Right. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I run the Hanoi Life Drawing Society and i uh, quite inspired by the human form. We, we get together every, every week and we um, draw the human form and figures and, yeah, I find it's quite a peaceful space for me to, and for anyone to just relax and explore your creativity. Um, yeah, sometimes life can be a little bit crazy out there. Hanoi is overwhelming and there's sit in traffic at 5 p.m. and go, oh my gosh, there's a lot of people. What do all these people do? Um, and I guess I see a lot of people sometimes as these organic kind of forms, things. Um, yeah, so I sort of looking at the human form in a bit of a different way than before. Um, yeah. See some bodies. I think they're pretty sexy in a way, I guess. <laughs> Legs, I don't know, toes. kind of liked putting them in spaces that were kind of weird and just hanging out where they were with not really any particular purpose, but they're just lurking. Started making stencils, cutting out from different kinds of materials, sticking them around. Some particular figures I really liked or like. Um, I once again popped them on the computer and uh, repeated them into some patterns. What's this? These are big printouts of them and I have been wheat pasting them. I've made my own wheat paste around the city, along the streets. So if you look carefully, um, <laughs> <laughs> you will see them around <laughs> um, in multiple places, down alleyways, in places you have to look hard to find. They're, they're just lurking there. Um, some murals in odd and strange places. More lurking people. I can't imagine finding that. Yeah, it's got completely weird, right? Yeah. It's so creepy and weird. <laughs> um, yeah, these are stencils, <laughs> mini stencils, hiding, lurking. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I'll be I've in the process of making, of doing an installation for Quest Festival next month. So these are going to be coming more into a three-dimensional form. Um, so I can't show you photos of that yet because they're in the, in the making, but they'll be at Quest and they'll also be at Bamboo in Westlake. Um, yeah, so look out for, the, for them. So Liz, um, if anyone would like to join you at the Life Drawing Society, at the Hanoi Life Drawing Society, uh, how can they find out about this? And if they'd like to purchase any of your prints, how could they go about doing that? I well, the prints that are on the table are for you for free. Um, you don't have to purchase those. But if there's something more you'd like, come chat to me. I also have the hashtag, which you can find me on Instagram, hashtag Urzel. And um, Hanoi Life Drawing Society is on Facebook as Hanoi Life Drawing Society. And you can message me on there. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, Liz. Thank you so much. Really nice. Really nice. Cool.